you two can get back together with your ex, here are three easy steps. Alright, the worst case scenario has occurred, you've just recently suffered a breakup and you really are wanting to know, how can I get back together with my ex? Probably, you might like to get your ex back immediately since this is a very typical emotion that nearly everyone who has had a breakup experiences. Emotional sadness is a common problem at this point, and I'm certain you will find yourself wanting to know how to handle it. One of the primary responses that we just about all have is that you may feel like getting in touch with your ex and begging him or her to return to you. But this is just that, a reaction, and is this really going to make things change for the better? On the contrary, more than likely it's going to make your situation even worse, chasing your ex away even further. That will not give you the outcome that you want. In fact, what you ought to do at this point is the very opposite of what you are experiencing. If you have the urge to call your ex, just don't do it. If you have that feeling like staying inside and crying all day long, just don't do it. Instead, by following these three basic steps you will have the answer that you need to the age-old question, how do I get back together with my ex? The first step, accept the breakup, it is advisable to take on that the breakup is occurring. This can be the very first thing you'll want to carry out. Let your ex be aware that you are fine with the breakup, and then permit the moving on process to begin. If you let yourself do this, a great deal of the tension and stress that is being experienced will be eliminated. This allows you to consider your options, and it allows your ex the needed time to think about the relationship as well. If your ex realizes that he or she still loves you, they will find a way to get back with you. The second step, do not contact your ex, this is simply not the time to make any kind of effort to make contact with your ex. It is best to cut the lines of communication to ensure that there can be some thinking time for each of you. This may appear counterintuitive, yet by cutting communication off you are signaling that you have already managed to move on and that you are doing all right. And it will prevent you doing anything foolish and rash in the heat of the moment. This time away allows your ex to think about the relationship and about its worth. It will also give your ex plenty of time to miss you again. When you're in a position to separate yourself from your ex, you are able to relax and let the realization of just how important you are seep into your awareness. The third step, plan ahead for your get-together. After you have finished the initial two steps, you can start to work on the process of when you should meet, where you should meet, and also what should be said when you do meet up again. This can definitely provide you with a much better understanding of whether or not your ex still really loves you. And even if you have any opportunity that you and your ex will be able to get back together. How to get back with my ex can be a little more complicated than the three steps above. But they are a good start and will improve your chances of winning your ex back.